Yeah, it's old guy coding again today. I think it's time we get started on that lowrider project, even though I really don't have room for it and I don't have the money to complete the project, but we'll get going slowly here. So the first thing we're going to do is go to um, uh, lowrider on Thingiverse. There we go. There it is. So let's go ahead and download all those files. Let's go ahead and tip the designer just because it's an amazing thing that he's making for us and I'm gonna go ahead and check out with PayPal here and uh, alright now that we're back um, we've done the tip thank you very much uh, Ryan for this wonderful design and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the files we downloaded here but what we're looking for today is um, the plates for um, doing CNC uh, the cut out of the MDF for instance, the, the DXF. Let's go ahead and sort those by type. Kind, that'll work. So there's the plates that we have to cut. So let's go ahead and start and take a look at that uh, plate right there. In fact, we'll just import that into uh, ESTL Cam if I have it up here yet. All right, and here we are. So let's go ahead. I'm using version 11 now. Uh, it's not the paid version yet, but. Uh, We'll probably go ahead and do that soon. And we'll go to files, and we're going to start with that 611 plate. And I'm sure it's in millimeters. Let's go back to uh, um, vicious1.com. Let's take a look at this diagram. So uh, it's going to be a quarter inch to three eighths. I've got a quarter inch. I see when using material thicker than a quarter inch, the larger circles are used to countersink the screw heads. So we'll be using the thinner holes, so we're going to use the uh, inner holes to, to make holes, and we've got a quarter inch material, so let's see what we can do here. Let's go ahead and start making some holes. So we're just going to, uh, let's do a helical drill. And we'll do the three point selection. We're going to be using the smaller holes. So there's one. Two. So those are all going to be drilled. So let's make a hole in the middle there for the uh, router. Pick a hole. Just like that. And then we're going to pick part for the outer part. Just like that. And we'll put some holding tabs on those. Uh, let's see, holding tab. Alright, let's go back and select this one and put some holding tabs on there too, just so it doesn't come flying out. And I've got the wrong bit selected. We're going to use an eighth inch bit here. So let's just go ahead and select everything. And we'll change that to an eighth inch end mill. And we're going to set this just more than a quarter of an inch. This still goes through the material. So let's go down to 6.6. Um, uh, .6 just to make sure that we're well through the material. And uh, do we need a finishing tool? I don't know. Let's go ahead and do one anyway. We will go ahead and use the 1 8 inch end mill and we'll do a 1.5 uh, mill finish on the cuts. So let's take a look and see how that appears down here. Yep. Very good. Very good. Looks like it'll be doing it on the uh, holes too, which is uh, which will be nice. All right, let's go ahead and export this as a CNC program. Ta-da! So let's take a look at this on edge. We can see that we're making the holding tabs. I could have made the holding tabs somewhat less, but that's okay. They will work. Those. 
as you can see the helical uh, drill going down actually it's probably gonna go down straight first make a hole and then helically do the finish cut all right I think we're good to go let's go ahead and set that up downstairs and, and get ready to run we're gonna cut that router uh, plate first and I'm all set here. I've got a piece of quarter inch uh, fiber board that's about two, uh, two feet wide by a foot tall. And I'm in position here. So we'll go ahead and start things up and we'll give that uh, job a run. Like something wasn't quite level though because uh, I didn't quite make it through all the way back here, but I think that'll be fine. We'll just make it a little deeper on the next cuts. Let's go ahead and grab that uh, little hacksaw I've got here and we'll cut this out. So one more thing, I've got some of this really tough uh, quarter inch uh, plastic here that I figure I would cut uh, one of the bases out of again, just so we could maybe see. It, it might be too flexy um, once we get it all said and done. We'll find out, but I figured I would give it a try. So here we are with the completed uh, parts, uh, the wood parts for the uh, low rider that have been cut out. I still need to do some cleanup on some of those inner uh, um, holding tabs. We've got uh, two of these guys that look very nice. Uh, we've got uh, uh, the plate for the, for the router. I also made one out of plastic, although I need to clean that one up a little bit more. We'll see if there is too much flex in there for that guy to, uh, but you know, then I was thinking maybe we'd be able to see through a little bit more. Maybe there's an anti-static uh, coating or something I could put on this plastic. I don't know, we'll look into that. And then, uh, of course, that's the, uh, the wooden one. And then we have uh, two of uh, the cover plates, just like that. And two of the uh, regular plates, I forget what they are, the X and Z plates, I think, or so I can't remember. I'd have to look it up again. So, anyway, there there you have it. It was a nice, easy cut. Came out nice. Nice project. I'll have to uh, get moving on with the next part soon here. 
Uh, maybe we'll start printing parts here uh, before too long. But uh, thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. And uh, I appreciate all the subscribers and the viewers. And thanks for helping me get to 1,000 viewers. Um, I really appreciate that. And uh, see you next time.